Okay, so what uh, what function have you picked? So I picked x equals um, arc sine of t and y equals e to the t. Okay, so we're just going to let this play here. Uh, I should speed up how it's moving. Okay, so what are you what are you seeing here? So it starts off. It starts off super flat, and then it goes up. It's going up pretty fast, at least comparatively. Okay. I'm going to change, instead of dividing by 5 here with the 0.2, I'm going to have the velocity and acceleration actually just be one time. Right. So we can see them a little better. All right. Because it looked like they were dividing by 5 was pretty small. Yeah. Okay. So now there we go. I'll turn off the acceleration for a second. So here's the here's the tangent line. So tell me about tell me what you're seeing here. So our tangent line so we start off flat and then it gets steeper and then keeps getting steeper and then starts to level out and then I think just right at the end they just start to go really fast. I have, I guess be a product of just it just ends abruptly. But to start off flat, we get pretty steep, and then we flatten out again. Okay. Mm. What are you seeing on this for the tangent line? And so it starts. It starts and end, ends really fast, but and it sort of constantly kind of gets slower and slower towards the middle. Uh huh. And then it speeds up again towards the end. Okay. Yeah, that's a great thing to notice. You can see the tangent line is getting longer, and the tangent line, the length of that tangent that I've drawn here represents the speed. Mm -hmm. So that's actually pretty neat. So you can see it starts out big, shrinks, okay, okay. and then it slowly gets bigger. If I stop it here, where do you think the acceleration for the particle is here? Like what, what way, if you were pulling the particle along this path, what way would you be pulling right at that point? Probably be pulling it kind of up and to the side, oh, kind of this way. Okay, what do you think? I think you might be Where'd that pencil go? Here, here's a pen. I think you might be pulling it like, kind of like this. Oh, oh, this, this way? Like sort of almost like, horizontally this way? Yeah, like kind of that. Okay, and where do you think? Can you hand your brother the pen? Where do you it was think like, I thought it was being pulled up. Okay, like. let's put in the acceleration. Yes, it's being pulled up. It's actually almost okay. perpendicular. Almost, yeah. Maybe, maybe it even is exactly perpendicular at this point. So the particle itself is kind of moving this way already, so it has some speed going in this direction. Mm -hmm. So to get it to go up, you're pulling, you're pulling up. And now I'm going to turn the acceleration off. Um, and let's go a little bit. Just tell me when, when you think it would be a good place to stop. How about now? Okay. All right, so now here we have a big velocity kind of going uphill. Um, where where do you think the acceleration is here? I think it's still up, but it's being pulled more to the side. Okay, so it's think, speeding up. I think mm -hmm. it's that one. All right, where All do right. you think? It might have it might be here, or it might have gone far enough up that maybe we're over here now. Okay. All right, let's take a look. So it looks like it's still on this side. All right. Now I'll just let it play. So we, can so we actually these. don't switch over to like the very end. And then you're almost pulling it almost vertically right at the end. And see, it's interesting in the beginning, as the as you notice the velocity was slow or mm -hmm. speed was slowing down, you're almost pulling backwards at the beginning. Yeah. It's also interesting. It goes from perfectly back to 90 degrees right here, and then it takes the entire curve almost to go over there. to parallel. Oh right. yeah, well, that's a really neat thing to notice. So it's not definitely not always perpendicular. Yeah. But it's, it's perpendicular right right there. Uh -huh. And then it slowly lessens. Pulling it up, pulling it up. And I think right at y equals one it's pulling directly up. Oh really? Was it exactly at y equals one? Let's see if we can stop it there. That'd be pretty neat if that if that was the case. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a very good thing to notice. Right there, it's actually pulling directly straight up. Looks like the acceleration is exactly. So there's a lot of exact here. Looks like the acceleration is two, uh -huh. and then the velocity looks like it's 
2 root 2. Hmm. Yeah, what was the equation here? Uh, x equals arc sine t, y equals um, e to the t. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, and so we could actually we could actually compute that acceleration if we wanted to, mm -hmm. the, the magnitude of it. All right, so that's pretty cool. So we'll turn off the camera again, and I'll I'll uh, I'll have you pick two equations for x and y. All right. All right.